Now, and, 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 and since my, my brother opened the door over here, All right, and sister thing, came bro. behind, I, 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 I struggle because I try to be diplomatic because I was a teacher. But everybody know me, know, you know, I, I, I keep it 100, all the way raw, right? And it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something. I heard what everybody said, and I listened, and I agree with everybody up here. And I fucks with what everybody said of it. Alright? This but I gotta break it down like this because this is how I understand it. I just got finished writing a book also. Problem here is making connections, historical connections. Alright? The um five fifths no compromise is the name of the book. That's about the three-fifth clause in the Constitution, all right? I'm coming home to hip-hop, just bear with me. I'm trying to really break this down simplistic. We were deemed three-fifths of a human being. That's never been overturned. To this day, that's a part of the Constitution. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery with a loophole that opened the door for the prison, private prison industry. We ship the prison. Okay? <laughs> so dig the move. This, this, this is the deal. Slavery never ended. They switched their hustle up. That's right. Just like they do on the block. That's it. Right? And the block get hot over here. Switch one product, you stop and you start with another one. You understand? So legal slavery was overturned. It was abolished. But then they started private prison, slavery by another name. It's a powerful documentary. Y'all have that here? Yeah. Slavery by another name? Yeah. Yeah, Prisons? Yeah. If we don't, we will have it. That's a powerful documentary to check out. Slavery by another name. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what a lot, when, when the white folks won a revolutionary war against Great Britain, they declared independence. And the Declaration of Independence, they said we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, right? Endowed with certain inalienable rights. Right? Inalienable. That means that, that, that means you I have God-given rights as a human being that you can't touch. That's what they said to Great Britain. They declared their freedom and independence. We didn't declare. They decided that they were going to free us. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between being freed and declaring I'm free and fuck you. I'm not doing this shit no more. There's a difference. All right? If the respect ain't mutual, let the fuck you be. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So we have to get to the point where we understand that as black people, we are five-fifths of a whole human being and stop dick-eating white people. Because that is what is happening in hip-hop, and that's what's happening in America. Yeah. All right? The music industry, you rappers, I listen to all of them across the board, and that's what they're doing. They're dick-eating white people. Like the sister said, we created this culture in the music, and what did, we, what did slaves do on a plantation? Whatever they created, master come and take it. Thank you very much. Right? Boss, do you like this? I made it just specially for you. <laughs> right? Everything we make, they take. Why? Because slavery never ended. Ew. Now, I'm not speaking metaphorically. I mean that for real. Yes. They just, the leash is looser now. That's it. Because they're, they're technologically more savvy and advanced, they don't need to hold everybody in a plantation. They can no. let you walk and think you roam, think you free. Yeah. Yes. But they still control you. Whenever they need niggas in jail, they know right where to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a pet turtle. And my turtle eats worms. Right? I don't box the worms and put them in, in the house. I know right where to go and get the worms when I need to feed my turtle. You understand what I'm saying? Whenever they need niggas in jail, and understand, I say niggas because that's what it is for them. 
when they need Eight niggas or. on their <laughs> penitentiary, which is their modern plantations, they know right where the fuck to go. All Eight right, now, hip hop. Hip hop, like I said before, oh, during legal shadow slavery, sl uh, drumming was outlawed. Eight. Now, because see, when, this, when, when we first came here, we start playing drums and brothers' eyes and sisters' eyes start rolling in the back of their head. And now all of a sudden they got superhuman strength and they don't know what to do. You understand? And then in Haiti, in the Haitian Revolution, which was won by the black women, that's never said. We hear about Tucson and, and Desilene, black women who possess spiritual forces are the ones who closed the deal in Haiti. Black women. All right? Voodoo. They, in Haiti, was straight voodoo. They possessed the forces. The drums kicked off the revolution, and the drums is what powered the revolution. And that is what is why they made voodoo. They they had to uh, um, demonize, demonize voodoo yeah. because that happened in seventeen. Started in seventeen ninety one. The turn uh, of the century, slavery was still popping over here. They couldn't have their niggas getting a wind of that. No. Nah. You understand? So exactly. So they, they turn black. So whenever you mention voodoo to a, a black person who is not conscious, their eyes, they get like Mantan Morley. Feet still filming that. You know what I'm saying? They scared the hell out of them. Yeah. Because, and, and, and white folks, now, listen, but now white, white folks don't act like that. You mentioned voodoo right now. Oh. Yeah, they they know what it is. They know I, I'd like to learn more about the subject. Um, could you expand on, on that uh, theory? Like they, they are real intent, attentive, okay? But here, understand this. It was all a propaganda war to keep black people away from that drum Senate culture called voodoo. Santeria is another. You're uh, the Ifa from Yoruba. Drum Senate coaches, Shango Baptist in Trinidad, the Akan out of Ghana. Anybody seen Sankofa? Drum Senate culture, all right? Hip hop is drum Senate culture. Now, where did hip hop come from? Understand this, during slavery, the drum was outlawed during slavery. So then what did we do? Played the fiddle, we played piano, we played the keys. That song Cheeky I did, that was from the 1920s, right? The brother James P. Johnson was a ragtime player. What they, who saw the movie uh, um, by James Brown? What's it called? Get On Up. Get On Up, right? What did he tell the, the, uh, his band? He said, what instrument is that? A drum. It's a drum. They all drums, right? So the brothers, the ragtime on the piano keys, they were playing drums, right? Ding, 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 ding. All that's drums. Man, they told him, the black man, and he split his fingers all the way down to his breast. I heard that. So he ran his fingers. If you ever watch YouTube and you see little Chinese girls playing, it's two of them on the on the phone. Yeah, they can't. They can't do what he did. Physically do what he did. It was a more. It was a genius. He playing the drums. Actually. No doubt. No wow. doubt. But that is that is our legacy. So the drum is going through. So now we come up as outlaw. We come up through the years. There's no drum center. You hear drums in the background. But when hip hop, see, understand, Cool Hurt came from Jamaica. 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 Right? So different slave rules. So he brought that drum centeredness back, which a lot of people don't really understand what, what Hurt did, because Bambada is really credited for organizing hip hop. But what Hurt, what, what he did, bringing that from Jamaica was powerful because that is what was missing here. That drum centered bass. That's what entrances. What they call entrancing or possession. That boom, that that bass, that E I in in Europe, the E I drum is the bass drum. Boom, boom. Right? That's the one that pulls you in. I'm that's sorry. The that's the one. <laughs> Man, no, yes, no. sir. 
Xenophobia. Yes, sir. It's, it's across the board. The, 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 the culture migrated from Ifa, from Yoruba, through slavery. Oh. Through Jamaica, Trinidad, mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, Cuba, Brazil, all over. Oh, yeah. it, it, it migrated. And the drum did. But understand, Cool Herc, see, this is bigger than Herc. This is bigger than hip hop. So. The answers, we see ourselves as American and he's Jamaican, but the ancestors, we got the same ancestors. So they bring, okay, what's missing from over here? They took the drummer, no problem, here, Hurt. You bring Hurt right here, he's South Bronx, he bring, boom. So now, full circle. So now we back to drum center. What I mean by that? That means the drum is the center of that musical art form. Everything revolves around that drum beat. Yep. It's not like it's not like you got accompaniment and you got a little you know people in a the band they playing a little bit. No, this is about that. That's the heartbeat. The drum is the replication of the heartbeat. You understand? I shake. When we say I shake, that is your power of speech. Now understand this in traditional culture. This is why this is the parent of hip hop. The, the I say your power of speech is your chant. What the sister was chanting? Both of the sisters were chanting. Your chant is your prayer. So whatever you are chanting over the beat, and when we say in hip hop or the hook, the hook they call the hook because it hooks you in because it's repeated. Now understand the chant is being repeated over and over. That is your prayer. Wow. That is something ancient. So it's the synthesis of that beat, that E-I beat, that bass beat, and that chant that actually locks in and empowers. Now, what happens if you put a devil worshiper like Jimmy Iovine, mm -hmm. who is a priest in the high church of Satan, over in the smoke wow. records and controls all of, hip, damn near all the hip hop music. All right, he just stepped down this year. Now he's with Apple, where they got the Beats by Dre, where they, wow. they cover your ears completely wow. with the beat. Wow. And this game, right. they study us. So they study how to take our beats and fuck our heads up with it. So the, so the beats that we have, they take the prayer and flip it and turn them into curses. That's why you, when you got people talk about suck my dick. Spell me words. Right? Because now you got young boys saying that to each other. Oh. Spell words. Spell, spell, spell exactly. words. Yes, sir. Words. Mm. And they're feminizing our question. Understand this. This is the urgency. I'm not saying all this to get to, to get an arousal. I'm saying I'm a teacher. I'm an educator. Because I try to take advantage of every opportunity I have to say something. Because I don't know. When I'm gonna have an opportunity, and I don't know what tomorrow I'm gonna bring, but I need to say it so somebody can hear it. Mm -hmm. Some this sister might make a rhyme about it. She might sing about it. Oh, it's going on. Powerful oh, sisters oh, right here. <laughs> I love. I, I enjoy everything. I enjoyed what this sister had. I enjoyed the brother right here. I fucks with everybody here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause it's family. But understand this. You have to understand the connection of the history. If you don't know that what you're saying on a song is a prayer, see, we can say this is the music industry, and yes, this is a hook, and this is a track. Fuck that. You, you can die not understanding what you're doing. When Tupac said, I see death around the corner, gotta stay high while I survive in the city where the skinny niggas die. When they bury me, bury me as a G nigga, right? He talking about death. And what Biggie say, I'm ready to die, right? He spoke it, that was the I shape, but he spoke it over a drum beat. Now, understand, the drum magnifies your prayer. You understand? So this brother, what this brother does with the drums, we took with this sister, that this powerful sister here, with, when she sang, and her voice was penetrating everybody here. He took it and magnified it. So when Biggie said he was ready to die and he wanted to go to hell, wow. Ashe. Wow. When we say Ashe, we say speak 
Let what you say go into existence. So be it. So his power of speech. See murder. See murder, Master Peace brother. Locked up, right? He said ain't do it. But his name says C Murder. Beanies. You from Philly? Beanie Siegel. Right? State property. It doesn't matter whether you understand. You can think you in a in a culture that just started in 1970. This is ancient old prayers and ancient traditions. We can act like we niggas in America and them motherfuckers is from Jamaica and fuck them Africans up. We all the same. And we call everything, the system systematic. The culture is the same. It don't change. White people understand it and respect it. They know what we have, but they know, like sister said, there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers running around that don't know. Too many, too many. But they know. And that's how they control and continue to take our music, and if you can picture a conga drum, mm -hmm. and they take the barrel of that drum, and they blowing us the fuck away. Mm -hmm. And we are so trapped into what me getting the deal, and this, and, and so I gotta good. compete with this person. Money, money. Understand? It's money, but niggas have become hoes. Yeah. Wow. For money. For money, but that's what a hoe is. That's it. Right? Wow. If they twerking in their own way for money, private dancing. So, back, and it was, it was somebody, somebody else that, that said something, I, I, I just that quick, I wanted to um, to bring it home with that. But the, the point I'm trying to make, or the sister was talking about doing something. We gotta know who we are, what we are doing. Now the reason that I was talking about five-fifths no compromise is because until we declare that we are going to be free and human and that we are going to decide to embrace each other. Like when she came up here, I don't have no choice but to embrace her. It's not a fucking option. Yeah. It's not. That's some American shit. Well, I don't know if I want to, you know, um, <laughs> affiliate with her or not because I, I, well, she's from Richmond and I'm from Philadelphia. <laughs> and, uh, She's from Baltimore. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. We don't have a choice. And this is the thing. We have to embrace each other because it's, it's life or death. And I, I mean that sincerely. I'm, I don't speak for my health. I'm sincere when I say we do not have a fucking choice. We have to embrace each other and what we do. And we have to listen to each other, and we have to be stop being so goddamn cocky and vain. The pride. Exactly. Now, oh, I know what I want to say. As far as the sisters, this thing is not going to get set straight until black women set it straight. Now, I'm explaining this, and I'm going I'm to pass the mic on. This generation, we got to think strategically. I told you I'm a warrior, and that means I'm a realist. All right, I'm not, I don't bullshit other people, I don't bullshit myself. Black men right now, I'm, I'll be 50 next year. For the state that we're in now, we are not gonna win a war. We have to do what Japan did. After they got bombed, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, what they did, they regrouped, right? And they built for their generations, which means black women have to be empowered. Like I said, the Haitian Revolution was won by black women. My music, most about 80% of the songs that I do are to uplift black women. Now, understand this. For young girls who are caught up in this, you gotta grab, you gotta grab their ear and pull them out of it. Now, you can preach to them about being a queen or goddess, but if they don't, if their head is somewhere else, you're not gonna catch them. You've got to be as warriors. You've got to find a way without compromising who you are, but you've got to be able to speak a language familiar enough to get them to listen and fuck with you. And once you do, once they, you got them, now you teach them. But you, if you don't get them, it don't matter how much, how deep you are. It don't mean nothing because they go on twerking. Yep. Because they, that's what they want to do. You, you got to make them feel like 
Yo, this is fly too. Oh, this is some fly shit. Oh, I fucks with this. Yeah, 